Talk is here. It is time for another Try Not to Laugh challenge. We got a new challenge, Justin Whitehead. Can Justin Whitehead break the great one? You just wet and stinking now. Hi, J-Rock has come back to you too. What is happening in in and in with the millions? Man, millions of J-Rock fans from all over the world, baby. J-Rock is here. Man, we got another Try Not to Laugh challenge. This time, coming from Justin Whitehead. Um, I heard Justin Whitehead, he does these uh, voiceovers or, you know, commentary, if you will, for the My 600 Pound Life shows. Apparently, some people have gotten offended by it. Um, J-Rock is of the belief, if it bothers you that much, why are you watching it? But, with that said, J-Rock says this. He wants to make it crystal clear. He is not laughing at people who are struggling with over, being overweight, being obese, any sort of disorder, stress, or anything that they are simply dealing with. Right? We all have our things that we are dealing dealing with. J-Rock is simply laughing or trying not to laugh I should say at Justin Whitehead the comedian slash commentator. Alright? So, J-Rock says this Justin Whitehead, just bring Shit Who in the fuck need to see that? That's sad. Don't put all kind of fucking holes in the wall. Look how they done had to patch that shit up back down for her big ass getting in that fucking bed, knocking holes in the wall. Then just took the whole damn hit board off the son of a bitch. Now look at it. That'll be the goddamn day. When fucking mice bark, if I have to come in there and, and snatch my bitch out of bed every fucking morning to get her damn day started. That, that, that'll be the goddamn day. Go in there and have to yank this bitch. Have to yank start her ass. Oh, God damn. What a damn blur it for that shit, too, now. That's a whole ass right there. Cover that fucking crack up. Both of them. Russ on that goddamn foot. Ooh. Ooh. Now, where the fucking soap at, lady? You gonna have to do more than run some goddamn wall on you. Get that shit up there and you still stink, bitch. You just wet and stinking now. Did she took a fucking towel under her stomach. The, the damn the tower on the stomach. Now I know damn well she ain't took one of my good goddamn towels in the crack of her ass like that. That ain't what the fuck I saw. Now I know damn well you ain't took damn one of the fucking towels in the crack of your ass like that. I know I'm fucking tripping. I know I'm carrying on here. Well, I be goddamn. That'll be the goddamn last time she stick a fuck one of my fucking towels up her ass like that. You already using two of them. Anybody finna be washing all these goddamn clothes because your ass need this shit to dry off like that? You fucking air dry fucking with me. All these damn towels in the basket because your big ass can't dry off with one. So it's the first thing I have every day. Well, 
I be goddamn. So that's how you start your fucking day. Cat and damn Phil. Just look at this shit. This breakfast. In a second, I take a bite. You know goddamn well you don't fucking need that. That's why your ass said I'm not having to turn sideways to get through the fucking door. She is in fucking heaven. Man, put all that in your fucking mouth. Sit your big ass at home and play the damn game all that. I don't give a fuck how you came up, bitch. That ain't got nothing to do with damn nothing. I, I wish sometimes I had the money to just get Fucking ass and now eating a damn uh, bypass ice cream cone some those fucking those. Oreos for breakfast. And you think this damn backstory is going to fill me weight. in on why in the fuck you are that large? Get the fuck out of here. Like I do. Come up with this shit now. That's just, that is not healthy at all. I assume this her goddamn companion. Look, look, hit back ain't gonna be worth a goddamn. Yeah, so what the fuck you gonna do? Back the damn car up on the sidewalk to get her ass? I bet the fuck you would. Said the you wouldn't go. Barely fit in the fucking car. So you, you wouldn't fit. I have to get a motorized car. And if where we go doesn't have one, I'm not going to be able to walk that far. Huh. Fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I bet the fuck you do have hurts. You still getting your ass on up getting that damn scope. No, ain't no damn chair now. No shit. I bet the fuck it is. You got the shop for it before you can eat it. Look, 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 look. look. You reaching for the goddamn smuckers. Now you don't need a goddamn thing you just put in that fucking cart. Oh, oh, now you want to go outside. You too tired now. Now you in pain after you done wobbled your fucking ass all around the damn store and shit in the cart. What the fuck? <laughs> Get your ass out the damn way. <laughs> <laughs> Hold it, folks. <laughs> Get the fuck out the way. <laughs> My lady say you think that matter? Hell no. Get your ass out the damn way. Bam, bam. I was laid down with that goddamn horn. You look, I wasn't in that fucking car, in that fucking automobile. I would have blew that son of a bitch to my fuse pop. Get your ass out the damn way. But man, move. Get your ass up the. <laughs> Get out the damn way. You gonna wobble your ass all around, save a lot. Move. You think I give a fuck? What this? <laughs> you think she give a fuck? Get your ass out the damn way. You look at I wasn't out there. But she still looking at her. She want a piece of your ass, bitch. Sitting out holding up the damn line. She trying to get in there and get some fucking meat and a couple fucking money orders. 
I like that lady that way. Get your ass out my damn way. Give a damn about you and these cameras out here. Can you bring me the goddamn cookie? Now this lady just had to blow at your ass to get you out the fucking parking lot. And you think you need to be eating some goddamn Oreos? Why be damn? I wouldn't stop a damn well. Bitch. We're gonna cook some of this shit when we get to the fucking house. The damn meat already thawed out. You ain't got to wait long. A double fucking quarter pound of meal. Now, I ain't a fucking the smartest math man, but I know a double quarter is a fucking half. So this bitch just ate a half a goddamn pound by herself. Look at it. Just damn look. Just sit that shit on the fucking stuff. I'll jam on brakes and let that shit go all over the goddamn dashboard. Have dead bugs and dirt all over that shit. You'll fucking hate me, bitch. Now, I don't give a fuck about people being fat. My whole fucking family fat. That's enough! Fucking nuggets and burgers. He over there just goddamn wore out. He done had to fucking pause so she can damn eat. God forbid he had a damn bump in a fucking food fall. Look, that's why, you, that's why I'm not. Your ass got to go catacomb up the damn steps. Now, I know damn well there ain't no fucking pizza. I know good and damn well that ain't no goddamn pizza. It don't take all that. A terrible fucking appetite. Look at that shit. Ain't this a bitch? I'm done. The smack has been laid down. J Rock says this. I don't know if that was a boyfriend, husband, brother, doesn't matter. J Rock says, first of all, J Rock says that all of that can't be real. With them going to shop and them going to buy food and all that other stuff, that that, that feels a bit scripted. Now, J Rock could be wrong, but that feels a bit scripted. The producers of the show are saying, just just go buy food, just 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 just, just, just let us lay it on real thick, right? J Rock said during the video, he wish he had the money to just pay for all the bypass surgeries they need to get all that weight off of them, all that weight off their heart, all that weight off their organs. Off they spine, you know, off they legs and they knees and they hips. J Rock says he wish he had the money to do that, right? J Rock says, sad. It was sad. Again, J Rock is not laughing at the people who are going through that. Now, J Rock says he don't even think Justin is laughing at them either. He's just making fun of the fact that people just, I, and it, he, he'll have to uh, correct me if I'm wrong on this, but I think he's just of the mindset like, look, when is enough enough? When it, you realize that you are this size, yet you're still doing the things that are contributing to your poor health. And you want me to feel sorry for that. And so Justin is like, no, I don't. Do you All right? smell what the and J-Rock gets where he's coming from, all right? Because at some point, if you know better, you got to do better. All right? And so, J-Rock says this. Um, hope they get help. Hope they lose the weight. Get healthy. Because that's just not healthy. This is not body shaming. This is just public service announcement. That ain't healthy. And you have doctors and physicians who are telling you that much weight on your body will kill you. So we're not trying to make fun of you, tease you, or anything like that. We're just saying, you got to do something about this before it gets, it's already gotten out of hand. The next stage is death. Right? So, be that as it may, J-Rock says this. He laid the smack down. He knows some of y'all broke. He almost broke. If you did make it through, make sure you type down below that the smack was laid down. Right? 
or timestamp where you lost and uh, and why. All right, post your comments down below. Let J Rock know what you thought of his reaction to this video. No rhyme intended on that line. And if you enjoyed the great one's reaction, hit that like button, subscribe, and share. Be sure that you hit that bell so you can be notified when it is time to be electrified. Thank you for joining J Rock. Stay tuned for my next video. Mamba, GG, and Wakanda forever. If you smell, the J Rock is.